Hey, I'm Ashton Ludden. I'm the owner and operator at Relay Ridge, and welcome to my studio. I just always knew I was going to be an artist. Like it was either that or an, a veterinarian. So that was um, something I thought was kind of funny now that I work with animals a lot. Yeah, wildlife and nature are heavily present in my work. I just feel really sensitive to when I see that if animals are being mistreated or like we're taking up too much space of ourselves and crowding them. And so I just kind of want to communicate through my work about that and have people kind of remember, because we can get really caught up in our own lives and what we do as humans and not think about everybody else that's on this planet. And it kind of looks nuts right now because I've printed it in a blue before, so the block is a little stained. But we'll just see how this pangolin, the pangolin doesn't live on this continent, but it kind of looks like an anteater and an armadillo crossed. And I'll bring this over to the Potterproof Press. Got this really fun bright paper. I'm gonna just put this on. I put just a little extra packing on top of here. We're gonna run this through the press. You guys can't see this, but I can feel how this press feels when it runs through. So I could tell that maybe it didn't have enough pressure. So I'm gonna run it back one more time. And hopefully we have a nice little print of a really bright, glowing red pangolin. <laughs> so Really Ridge, not only do we have studios here, we, um, again, as I mentioned, I didn't mean it to be this plate, like this big of a place. We weren't looking for this big a building, but it was such a cool, weird place. So if any of you guys ever come out here, we have, please come and check it out. But it's not just studios now, we have this we had enough room to make a gallery and like we had enough room to make a community print shop. So that invites all these other people in different ways here, not just the studio, but um, you know, we could all just come and work in our studio and go home, but I wanted more than that. So over time, organically, we've kind of met up and been talking about a studio crit group, which critique groups like where people get together and just kind of, hey, I've been working on this thing. I need some feedback. Can we put it up on the wall and talk about it? Um, we started doing that with the studio mates uh, about a couple times a month on Mondays. And then we have a, for the print shop, we started a community there because people have been coming in using the shop and not knowing the other printmakers in town. And so we started a group called Printmakers Anonymous that just is a reason for people to get together. And then the openings, like, so we have a gallery. So the other thing is that we really wanted to celebrate Knoxville artists. There's a lot of great artists that come out of UT and they're great, and, but there's also other people around and there's new people moving in. And I'm like, who are all these people? First Fridays have become really fun here and it's been cool to hear other people enjoying it as much as I have, because they're like, it's like a party here, but like not, it's not like a rage or crazy party, but it's like, we just have fun things happening. So it's not just like a gallery opening where it's maybe it can, sometimes feel a little intimidating sometimes in the gallery, but you know, we feel pretty casual and open and realistic with people. And um, so it's been really cool to just have a lot of different groups of people throughout this building and they cross over and yeah, so it's nothing without other people. Like if this was all mine, it would be so lame. I just would be all by myself and it's just fun when other people are around and engaged. So.